Cavalier King Charles Spaniel The Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is a breed of toy dogs possibly obtained by crossing small spaniels with oriental toy breeds like the Japanese Chin. The breed's development history from the 1700s up until the 1920s is the same as the King Charles Spaniel. These lap dogs were very popular among the noble classes and particularly so among the British royalty under King Charles II, who lent his name to the breed. With time, the dog's long nose was bred out in favor of shorter-nosed specimens. In the 1920s, as a result of substantial prize money offered by Roswell Elridge, a visiting American, breeders began developing dogs similar to the original long-nosed spaniels, and a new breed called the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel came into existence. Ironically, these new inspired by old dogs of the Cavalier variety soon outstripped the King Charles Spaniel in popularity. Time for some rough trivia. Apart from the muzzle, which of these physical features can be used to differentiate a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel from a King Charles Spaniel? A. Position of the ears relative to the skull. B. Height of the hindquarters. Or C. Length of the coat. What do you think? Give it your best guess in the comments below before we get to the answer. Hang on tight and we'll get back to this rough trivia question toward the end of the video. The average height of an adult cavalier is between 12 and 13 inches, and weight between 13 and 18 pounds. Thus, the typical fully grown cavalier King Charles Spaniel is comparable in size to adolescents of larger Spaniel breeds. It has an elegant and royal appearance, and any trimming or sculpting is discouraged. A flat skull, long face, gentle expression, round eyes set well apart, and high-set ears characterize the dog's head. The silky coat is of moderate length, with permitted colors being chestnut and white, known as Blenheim, black and tan, ruby or tricolor, black, white and tan. Grooming. Daily brushing is needed to maintain the breed's soft, silky coat. Its pendulous ears should be checked regularly for buildup of dirt or any infection. Trimming of nails and brushing of teeth have to be regular too. Temperament. A Cavalier is a typically playful, gentle and affectionate dog. It gets along well with kids and other animals, but overactive kids should be monitored when in company of these mild-mannered small dogs. Its strong hunting instinct can be controlled with training if it is living along with other smaller pets. A Cavalier is known for its adaptability to people and new places, but it is not known to be a good guard dog because of its friendliness. Training The Cavalier's adaptability is also reflected in how it fits its lifestyle to its owners. It can be an active hiking partner or a complete couch potato. Its daily exercise needs can be taken care of with a short walk on leash. Health The life expectancy of a Cavalier is 9 to 14 years. Mitral valve disease is a very common ailment in the breed and is the most common cause of death. Other serious genetic problems can be syringomyelia, a condition affecting the brain and spine, hip dysplasia, luxating patella, and some vision and hearing disorders. The Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is a pint-sized bundle of joy known for adjusting itself to its owner's lifestyle. Named after royalty, it does not mind befriending all commoners, humans and animals alike. Find out if the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel would be a good addition to your home. Now you can visit brooklandscorner.com to take our quiz and find out which dog would be the best match for you. Let's get back to the answer to our rough trivia question. The position of the ears relative to the skull is a good way to differentiate the two breeds. In the Cavalier, the ears are set high on the skull, while in the King Charles, the ears are set as low as possible, coming off the side of the head. That does it for the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. If you enjoyed this Dog Facts 101 video, be sure to subscribe and paw that thumbs up button. Then go ahead and check out some of our other videos or fun activities on our website. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.